what the heck is going on, and why does that worm have legs? Well, as it would turn out, that isn't a worm at all. This little guy is the Mexican mole lizard. It's actually a reptile, one where most of its genus has lost their legs. It's a kind of convergent evolution, but essentially snakes and lizards decided that snakes were not going to have legs and lizards were, but then these guys decided, hey, we don't want legs either. They in fact live pretty similar lifestyles to moles, burrowing underground. And you can really see that when you look at their little hands. If you want to encounter one, you're going to have to go to the west coast of Mexico. This is far from the only case of an animal taking on a trait we don't typically associate with that animal. This is a poisonous snake. It's in fact poisonous and venomous, and it's a common garter snake. We only have a couple of examples of snakes that are actually poisonous. There are probably more out there, we just haven't found them, and it comes from the toxic things that they eat. If geese weren't already toxic enough, this one is actually poisonous. It's an African spur-winged goose. They get their poison from consuming blister beetles, and if you eat enough of them, you could expire. Same with the hooded potohi. In fact, these guys are so poisonous, you can't even touch them without getting tingling and numbness in your skin, and eating one could be fatal. Nature only laughs at our attempts to classify it.